Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Casey. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use linear patterns and control pattern instances in SOLIDWORKS. To begin, I'm going to set up a simple linear pattern of a whole wizard feature on a base plate. I will choose the spacing and instances method for defining my pattern. Then I'll select my direction vectors for both directions by choosing two linear edges. Along with linear edges, you can also select faces or planes for your direction. If you choose a face or plane, the direction will be normal to that plane. Finally, I will enter in the values for my spacing and instances in both directions and populate a preview of my pattern. That gave me a quick, simple, and equally spaced linear pattern. But sometimes, you might want to control how your linear patterns are spaced or change the dimensions of the feature that you are patterning. That's where the Instances to Vary option comes in. Check the box next to Instances to Vary to turn the tool on. This option lets us modify a couple different values for the instances. We can use it to control instance spacing, instances to skip, and feature dimensions to vary. Clicking on any instance toggle gives us the ability to either skip or modify that instance. For this example, I'm going to modify the instance and change both the spacing increment in the X direction and the hole diameter. To modify the hole diameter, I just select the dimension displayed on the pattern seed. I can continue to use these controls to modify every pattern instance in this pattern array. By using these options, you can greatly vary how your linear patterns are created in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Be sure to visit our channel every other week for great new content. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.